He too has a star up there. He's had a long, successful television career. Would you please welcome Bill Welch? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, join me in thanking Johnny Grant for all he does for our community, our Hollywood Christmas Parade, our Walk of Fame, our honorary mayor, Johnny Grant. There's a fellow holding up a sign out there that says, It's about time. It's about time that the monkeys became a part of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And you know the wonderful thing about it is, we have some names on the Walk of Fame that go back many years in the entertainment industry. And to find out who they are and what they did, you have to, and the continuing admiration we all have for the monkeys, this star in the Walk of Fame to the people who walk down here in the next century. Johnny Grant is going to tell you about the longevity of this group. And that's one of the things we like to see when we honor somebody in the Walk of Fame. He's going to tell you also what they've done to contribute to charitable organizations around the world. And that's important to us also. And most importantly is today, we finally do it. We honor the monkeys. All right. Well, let me tell you a little about the monkeys now. And listen, I, I'm well aware that every one of you out there knows more about the monkeys than I do. So, and now, they, not the monkeys, but somebody prepared a resume here. And, no, it wasn't Mickey. <laughs> And if I, if there is a mistake in it, you correct me, all right? Or if you hear a song title that you like, go for it, you know, yeah. But in 1966, and I agree, I agree, it is about time that we honor the monkeys. I'm going to tell you why. In 1966, the television and music worlds were turned upside down by the debut of the monkeys on NBC. And their hit song, 
their hit song, Last Train to Clarksville. Uh, you know that was all over the radio. The television show, which was a half-hour sitcom, made its debut on September 12, 1966, and it featured the four young men as a struggling rock and roll band. The show was a real breakthrough and received industry recognition in the form of two Emmy Awards do you want me to do for this Outstanding whole thing or Comedy Series and for so Best Direction. Do as much as you can. At its okay. peak, the Monkey's television show was in over 30 countries. 30 countries. Now, at the same time, the show was drawing a dedicated following. The Monkey's music was beating out the competition. I'm a believer. The Monkey's music... I'm not your stepping stone, daydream believer, and again, last train to Clarksville. There were top spots on the charts all over the world. After the monkeys went off the air, I can tell you this, monkey mania never died. I know that firsthand. Okay. Now, the fans continue to be active in monkey fan clubs across the world, avidly training memorabilia news. As a matter of fact, fans are responsible for today's event. A group of fans from all over the nation are the sponsors of this Walk of Fame star for the monkeys. Now, they're very involved. Let me tell you, Vicky Dovitz is a respected director and producer in England. And world-renowned polo player. Thank you,